Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp. I am going to demonstrate uh, how to create live streams using Yahoo Pipes. Uh, so we're going to use the, the Yahoo service called Pipes to create a consolidated feed of all the uh, the feeds that we put out there, or I put out there, or you put out there, or whatever. And then we're going to pull it all back in to our blog or our web page using JavaScript. Um, so I'm just going to get on and kind of commentate as I go along. So this is a list of my four feeds. And um, <clears throat> it's Yahoo Pipes. If you just go to pipes.yahoo.com, and if you don't have a Yahoo account, just sign up, and you'll be able to create a new uh, pipe. So I'm going to start off by adding this fetch feed source, and I'm going to drop in each of my uh, RSS feeds into this little module, adding new URLs as I go along. So I've added uh, my Flickr account, my Delicious account, my own personal blog, and my Twitter uh, feed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these all into um, uh, an operator which show, uh, sorts them by date. And then I want to truncate to only show the last 20. <clears throat> and I join these, these modules up by just dragging the, the pipe from one module to the other. And what it's doing here also, I can uh, I can preview what this module produces in this debugger down here. It takes its time but it shows me that uh, it's going to show me the, the actual output from this particular sorting. But what I want to do is I want to sort by uh, publish date and descending so I get the newest uh, posts at the top. Drop this onto the truncate. I'll truncate to 20 feed items and drag that down to pipe output. If you click on this, it's updating again down here. And I can see that, yep, yeah, that's the very last thing I actually posted on Twitter. And uh, there should only be 20 items there. I'm just going to save this pipe now <coughs> and call it my soup. Now it's giving me the option to actually preview the pipe. So if I click on this link, it'll show me the uh, the output of the page in uh, the, the, this Yahoo Pipes page. But what I'm interested in doing is grabbing the uh, the JSON feed. So if I look at that as JSON in uh, JSON format, I'll see it's uh, it's like this. Oh, Firefox has done some nice rendering there for me. We're going to grab this URL, and what we're going to do is right at the end, I'm going to add ampersand underscore callback equals soup and what that's going to do is going to wrap all of this JSON object and pass, pass the object into a function called soup you can see that's what's output for me so I'm going to use this URL in my uh, my soup.html I've just uh, created a dummy dummy web page here um, called soup <coughs> and as the page loads up, I'm using uh, jQuery to to basically help me code a little bit faster. This uh, this this dollar function means run everything inside this block once the page is ready. So I'm going to load this jo uh, JavaScript library. Um, by creating a new script and attaching that script to the, the actual document body. Once the script is actually loaded into the page, it's going to execute this callback soup. So I need to create a new function called soup that parses the, uh, the JSON and, 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 out, and, and processes it onto the page. I'm just going to give that a quick test. So we're not doing anything special here. We just, you know, uh, we're loading in the the external library, attaching it to the body, and then we're going to call this callback and just say it's loaded. So 
test.com seek. <laughs> and there it is. <clears throat> We've managed to load the, uh, the external module. And if I take a look at the HTML, I can see it's down here. So, <clears throat> what are we going to do with it? Well, we know that the uh, well, we don't even know what the object looks like for the time being. So let's dump this out into the console just to have a look at it, so we understand what the inners look like. So in my JSON object, I I need to actually start in value items, and then I can loop around these twenty items, and. I already know that I'm only interested in the Y colon title and uh, I might be interested in the publish date but uh, I'm going to use uh, the link as well I think that's consistent throughout this feed as well the, the one of the downsides of the the IE pipes is you can't actually append any extra information into the pipes um, so what I would have liked to have done is actually add in the source of where each feed came from but um, you can't for the time being. Just um. <clears throat> check that's right. I'm just going to log the the elements just to make sure I've got the uh, the, the the right thing I'm, I'm interested in. Items I dot link and items I y colon title. Just going to refresh this. Yep, looks like I've got what I want. So I'm just going to create a little uh, div inside of here div i equals soup and as I come into the fun this function I use jQuery just to to create a new uh, list and just append each item into the list um, being a bit lazy with my ideas here and I'm just just chucking them on just so I can attach these list elements pretty easily without having to worry about uh, finding the right the right item Okay, so we should give this a test. It's loading the Yahoo pipes, and it didn't work at all. Uh, uh, superb. So I've got a, I've got the link there, but I don't have the title, and that's because I can't spell title. There you go. Cool. And there's our live stream, or soup, or whatever you want to call it. Now, if you want to do something a, a, a little bit more, what we can do is attach uh, an icon onto the left. Um, <clears throat> so I've already uh, created little snapshots of the icons, and I know that I've got delicious, my own blog in here, Twitter, and I've got um, uh, Flickr as well. But I don't think there's any Flickr images here. So I'm just going to use a class uh, Remy, which is my own blog. List style equals uh, URL images Remy .jpg. I think that's right. I dot delicious style image. <coughs> there we go. What 
Oh, so I say we had Twitter. So I'm going to do a little pattern match on the uh, the link to work out which class we need to add. The only problem is Delicious doesn't. Tell, there's nothing to indicate that uh, this link has come from Delicious because it just goes straight to the SEO chat and uh, Dynamic Drive. So what I'm going to say is, if the URL matches Twitter.com, then it's Twitter class. If it matches Remy Sharp. Uh, sorry, Feed Burners slash uh, Tilda R Remy Sharp, then put the Remy Sharp icon. Otherwise, use Delicious. So <coughs> if items link match I make delicious the default so the Remy sharp one was Let's just copy this link and just drop it straight in I don't need to escape that, that backslash to make sure it's, uh, it matches properly. And this is twitter.com. Let's see if that works. Oh, that worked for one of them. Uh, I seem to have got the wrong URL. Let's have a quick look to see what the right URL is so I can just prove this works and I'm not mad. Uh, plus Twitter. That doesn't really seem to have applied anything. So I must have messed up. Somewhere, yeah, so I've put an extra S on the end. Ah, superb. There we go. So we've got little icons next to it. And then you can style it up even more if you want to and you know, make it as sexy as you like. Hope you've enjoyed it and uh, uh, drop me any questions on my blog. And I'll uh, provide the source code on, on the blog as well. Thanks.